Yeah, we're looking at an Airblade branded Eagle Power S1103 10,000 kV motor. This is a 3.8 gram motor, and at this kV, we're testing on 2S. The estimated kV for this test run is 9,200 kV, so it's coming in a little low compared to its nameplate, but still within about 10%. With motors this small, you're really looking at lighter uh, prop loads. The efficiency is really, really biased towards very light loads. At this point in the, uh, the test where we're already 50% loaded down from uh, full RPM. Uh, we're only just touching on our um, light two and a half inch, heavy two inch prop load lines. So while you could potentially get some uh, light three inch uh, loads, if you figure a good bit of unloading, might get you touching uh, down into the 50% zone, but it's not gonna be where the motor's at its happiest. In terms of thrust on that uh, heavy two inch prop, we're looking at about 112 grams of thrust and on our light two inch we're seeing 106 and even this light two inch prop is still only midway through our 50 percent efficiency band a good portion of this is under 50 like probably half the throttle range is under 50 percent even with this light prop and unloading isn't going to really help it until you reach uh the top end of the uh the throttle range there so you know, even unloading here at 50% throttle is just going to unload you into more 50-40% uh, efficiency. Um, so there isn't much gains to be had until you're at maybe 70% throttle, and then you can dip uh, into a little higher, maybe start getting into 60%, low 60s or something like that. But for an ideal match, you're going to want probably an even lighter 2-inch uh, prop than this. If we compare against uh, this reference King Kong 1103 7800, you can obviously tell the difference in KV, but also the uh, efficiency is uh, in the King Kong is a lot more usable uh, through a lot more of the range. In that, you know, if we compare this uh, light two inch load uh, here, the 50% line, you know, way down here, this is probably 70% of our throttle range is over 50% efficiency compared to, you know, maybe about half uh, on this uh, 10,000 kV motor. So not really the most convincing choice. Uh, and uh, especially because we've got uh, this so much higher efficiency here, even this uh, light three inch load, we're well into the 50% uh, and over. Although that said, if you do have a very, very light prop load um, that is going to come down near the, um, the 10,000 kV motors peak efficiency, that hypothetical prop is going to be below the efficiency range of the uh, 7800 kV motor. If you're if we're down here, uh, then unloading is going to start losing us efficiency, although we'll be in a slightly better place to start with uh, compared to the, uh, the 10,000. If you had a prop that was just that light, uh, then that is probably the most convincing uh, case that I can see uh, where you would uh, want to choose uh, this, this higher kV option. And if we compare the full throttle traces, you can see that we're seeing just about the same amount of torque out of both of these. So the uh, higher KV is giving us a little better uh, ultimate RPM uh, full throttle out of it, um, but it's going to load down just about the uh, same amount under really heavy loads. And then we're just seeing how far um, these uh, bands of efficiency, you know, are, are uh, cutting through. Where here we're you know, nearly, what, one and a half bands uh, for this, just this light two inch prop uh, difference between the uh, dark blue here, and then we're medium blue, and then dark blue way down here is your if equivalent efficiency for that, uh, this prop. In terms of power on that uh, light two inch, we're looking at about 64 watts, and then right on that uh, heavy two inch, uh, light two and a half, uh, we're edging at about 63, 64 watts. 